menjelaskan mengenai streaming ketika nanti anak Bapak Ibu naik kelas ke secondary three. Baik, uh, sebelum kita mulai Bapak Ibu, I would like to introduce you. Yang pertama adalah uh, VP Akademik, yaitu Mr. Rufus. Mr. Rufus. Halo, uh, good morning. And then the next one, definitely uh, our uh, principal of uh, secondary and junior college department, Mr. Samuel. Good morning, parents. Thank you for joining us. Okay, so with the further ado, let us uh, start uh, with the prayer. Then I would like to ask Mr. Samuel to lead us in the prayer. Thank you. Let's bow down our head and pray. Good morning, Lord Jesus. Thank you for a wonderful time that we can gather here online, Lord, through this through Zoom meeting. And this morning, we are going to share with parents regarding the streaming process in secondary three. We want to ask for your wisdom, Lord, as Mr. Rufus shared information to the parents. Uh, let these informations can be a guidance for the parents as they guide their children in choosing the streaming that will determine the future of our children's Lord. We want to pray that you bless us throughout this morning, this session's Lord, so um, all informations can be conveyed clearly and parents can get the help, the guidance, in um, deciding the future of education for their children. Thank you, Lord. In Jesus Christ, we pray. Amen. Amen. Thank you, Mr. Samuel. And uh, for this info session, Mr. Rufus will do the presentation. Jadi, uh, setelah nanti Mr. Rufus melakukan presentasi, kalau Bapak Ibu ada yang ingin bertanya, bisa uh, menggunakan question or answer yang ada di menu Zoom Bapak Ibu atau mungkin nanti juga akan ada live questions kalau seandainya Bapak Ibu ingin bertanya. Jadi kita akan mendengarkan presentasi terlebih dahulu dari Mr. Rufus. Mr. Rufus. You still muted Mr. Rufus. Sorry. Uh, once again welcome all the parents and thank you for joining us in this one. So um, I would I would like to present to you about the streaming um, procedure, what we are following in Binabangsa School. As you all know that um, in secondary, uh, we are having secondary and junior college. So we call it as uh, secondary and junior college program. So this program is for six years. And when you are looking at uh, the secondary, you know that your child is going to study. Now they are in secondary two. They are going to study secondary three and secondary four. Uh, usually different schools will have different procedure. For us, we use uh, the students, they will study. All of them will study the general topics, general subjects. But when they come to secondary three, um, we usually stream them according to their interests. Uh, whether they like to study science, some students are very good in science, some of them very good in business subjects. So based on their interest and their future plan for their university, um, so based on that, we will stream the students. So today I'm going to present to you about what are the different streaming that we are giving in Binabangsa School and uh, how we are going to select your child for the stream, for the different stream. So this is the um, actual path, academic path for in secondary. Your child will study four years of secondary education. Then at the end of the secondary four, they will sit for the Cambridge IGCSC examination. That is called International General Certificate of Secondary Education. It is organized by or conducted by uh, Cambridge University, UK. So after they successfully complete their IGCSE, they will enroll them in junior college. 
then two years of junior college. After that, they will sit for another major exam, that is Cambridge A-level exam. So that will decide them to which university they are planning to go. So this is about the academic pathway for all the students who are studying in the Namaksa school. So uh, I just want to show you the overall um, education system. Usually the international education system will have this structure. All the students, they have to study primary education for six years. And then they have to study six, uh, six years of secondary education. After completing 12 years of primary and secondary education, they, are, they can go to university, enroll themselves in the university. So this is the um, all the universal procedure of education. So you can see here, um, when you see this overall, the blueprint or the uh, map, uh, after they finish their primary school, uh, we call in Indonesia, we call it as SD. Uh, they will study one to six. Then after they complete their uh, primary education, they will enroll in the secondary education. So as you all know that, uh, Bina Bangsa will offer two streaming in junior and in, in secondary. Uh, one is called accelerated program. And the other one is called the express program. So the difference between accelerated and ex express, maybe you know about it. Accelerated students will finish their secondary education in five years, uh, which means they have to study all the secondary syllabus, six years syllabus in five years. So that is called, we call it as the accelerated program. Uh, so that that one, this 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 session is not for accelerated uh, program. This is only for the express streaming. So now your child um, is studying here in secondary two express. So this year is one of the crucial year for them to choose what they are planning to do in their university. So for that they have to prepare in secondary two itself. So at the end of this secondary two, uh, they will get the option. They will, we will offer them different subject combinations. So you can see here, there are uh, three different subject combination. Uh, the first one is called uh, science with additional mathematics. So this is uh, the first stream that we are offering. And the second stream is uh, sub-science. So here, sub-science means it's a pure science. They will study all the science subjects. But also, we give other parallel subjects for them. If they don't want to study biology, they can choose business subject. That's why it is called sub-science stream. And the third stream is called the business stream. So here, there is no science subjects only the business subjects. So these are the three streamings. Once your child is enrolled in one of the streams, for example, if they enroll in, suppose we say business stream, they have to continue to secondary four in the same business stream. They cannot uh, change to sub-science or AMF. So same thing for sub-science and as well as for uh, additional mathematics so they will study the subjects in two for two years secondary three and secondary four at the end of the secondary four they will take the igcs exam after they successfully complete their igcs exam they will enroll for junior college program so in junior college program, if the student, if they study business subjects, they have to go to business subject only. They, they, don't, uh, they don't have option to change their streaming in junior college from science to business. And also you have to know here in junior college, we are having only two streaming. Uh, that is science stream and the business stream, not uh, 
like three streaming here. Okay, so there's only two streaming, science stream or business stream. You may ask me why suddenly the three streaming become two. Yeah, because in second and junior college, we are giving many parallel subject combinations. So students, whatever the subjects they study there, they can choose based on their combinations. But on the other hand, the students who studied science with A math and sub science. So when they go to junior college, they have the option to choose either science or business. The, the two possibilities, they have the options to choose science or business. Why? Because they have the foundation of science, so they can continue with the science subjects. Or some students may decide, maybe after they compete, uh, some of them, they may change their mind. Okay. After they finish secondary four, they think, okay, I don't want to continue my studies in university in science subjects, but I want to take business. So in that case, uh, what happened? They have the option to choose business. You may also ask, is it possible? Because they did not have any foundation of business. Uh, how come they can choose business? Yes, it is possible. Uh, business subjects, still students can able to pick up in junior college. So that is why that option is given for uh, science students. So this is the... Um, pathway. So uh, for two years, they have to study. Then at the end of the uh, junior college too, they will take the Cambridge exam. And based on the results, they can go to the local universities or overseas. So this is the pathway for all the students who are studying in Benamangsa school. Maybe I can give uh, 30 seconds that if you, you can just uh, have a look of this map. Okay, now the next slide, what I'm going to show you is that I'm going to show you about the subject, what are the subjects they are going to learn in science and AMath math or in sub-science or in business classes. So this, you can uh, look into this uh, following slides and you can see what are the subject combinations are there. Yeah, the first one, um, I start with the science with additional mathematics. Science with additional mathematics, the students will have 10 academic subjects. And there are five non-academic subjects. Uh, the difference between academic and non-academic is the academic subjects or the subjects they are going to sit for the IGCSE exam in secondary four. These are the 10 subjects. They are going to take their exam in secondary four. So this non-academic subjects, it is only school-based exam. So this is internally, we have the examination and it will be uh, graded subjects. So in science and additional mathematics, you can see there are um, three languages they will learn. As uh, your child is already learning three languages. Uh, the one is the English. And um, the other two languages are Mandarin and Bahasa Indonesia. So these are the subjects, three languages. And also they are going to learn two mathematics. Uh, the one is called the EMAT. This one, the mathematics is called EMath. So this is common. This is for uh, uh, for all the students. They have to study this mathematics. Whether they are in science stream or business stream, they will study this mathematics. In addition to this, they will also learn another mathematics uh, that is called additional mathematics. Additional mathematics is more uh, challenging subject. 
So students, those who are very strong in additional mathematics, uh, students who are strong in mathematics, they can do well in this. So we will give them the option of for them. And there are three science subjects, physics. Now in secondary two, they are learning general science. Secondary one and secondary two, they are learning general science. So general science is the some topics or physics topics, some chemistry and some biology topics are there. When they go to secondary three, all the three, uh, all the, the, the three uh, subjects can be separated. The branches of the science can be separated into physics, chemistry, and biology. Also, they will learn sociology. In sociology, we are giving students um, option. They can choose between sociology or art. So there are uh, two subjects are given. It's up to the students. Some students, they are really good in art. So they want to pursue their career in art. So they will choose art. If not, then they have to study the sociology subject then computer science. So these are the uh, subjects, academic subjects they are uh, going to learn in secondary three and secondary four. Other than this academic subjects, the non-academic subjects are FB, Faith Builder, and Physical Education, uh, Life Skills, Life Skill, and then Music and PPK. So these are the non-academic subjects. The next subject is the next stream is subscience. So in the subscience, it is very similar to the additional mathematics, but only thing they don't learn additional mathematics. Only the additional mathematics is not there, but whereas all the other subjects are there. So you can see here. Instead of 10 subjects, they are going to learn only nine subjects because there is no additional mathematics. But there is another uh, option also you can see here, English, uh, mathematics, physics, chemistry, biology. But here for sub-science students, we are giving another um, benefit for the students. That means uh, they can choose between biology or business studies. Uh, some of them they don't like the biology maybe they don't interested in study uh, biology subjects or may maybe medical side in university so they may be interested in business so they can choose business study subject instead of biology um, same thing like sociology and art between sociology and art they can choose computer science and mandarin and bas so the only difference here is they they will not study additional mathematics, whereas all the other subjects are there. So they can uh, choose these subjects. So this is subscience. And the third stream is the business stream. If you look at the business stream, here there are no science subjects. You can see uh, they are learning English, mathematics, and instead of physics, chemistry, they are learning accounting and business studies. They have sociology and art, computer science, Mandarin, and bars. And also you can see the number of subjects here is only eight. And the non-academic subjects are the same for all the streaming. So these are the three streamings that we are offering for our secondary three students. So uh, additional mathematics and subscience and business streaming. Okay, next slide, I'm just going to show you about how we are going to stream the students in secondary three. 
Right. The first one, yeah, how do we stream the students? We know that it is by the student's interest. First of all, we give the option for the students. We will, we will also talk to the students. We already spoke to them and also later on, they can also, if they have any doubts, they can also talk to their subject teachers. Uh, the first thing is students' interest. If they are interested to study business subject or science or whatever their interest, that is the first basic, uh, basic thing for the streaming of the students. And the second one, it is also about their ability. Suppose if their students are really very strong in mathematics, yes, uh, they can choose mathematics and additional mathematics. So that is how we are going to stream. Okay, first their interest, and the second one is about their ability. We will stream the students. Since business subjects, they do not study any business subjects in secondary one and secondary two. So it's a new stream, new, new subject. So it is uh, open for everyone. So even if they are very good in science and mathematics, but still if they want to study business, they are most welcome to join business class. Right. Students, those who are strong in mathematics, so for those students, we will give them the science A math class. So there are two things. Uh, one is student interest. And the second one is their ability. So the ability, we will see their uh, scores and then we will decide on their ability. Whether they can able to do additional mathematics or not, that will be decided by us. So this is how the, the structure, how we are going to stream the students. Now your child is here in uh, secondary to express. So they are in secondary to express here. And then after that, they will go to the, we, we are streaming them. So what we are going to do is that we are going to release a letter after this. Uh, we are going to release a letter to the parents along with a response slip from you. So there we will send all the details of the stream in different groups, what are the subjects, and everything will be there. We will send it to you. You can go through it. Then you can decide. You can talk to your child, and you can decide which stream they want to choose. Once when you decide, you can send us the response slip. So it's a response slip. You send a, using the Google form. You send the response slip. And then what we are going to do is that the response slip, we will keep it in our uh, bank, in, in our, we will store it in our system. Then they are going to sit for the final year examination. At the end of this academic year, they are going to sit for the final year examination. So once when the result is published, we will look into their science and mathematics results. So how, how did they perform in science and mathematics? We will look into the result. And after that, their interest from the response slip. And by their results, we will decide. The school will decide which stream we will allot for the students. So if they are really strong in science and mathematics, then we will give them science with additional mathematics so uh, this this subjects we have we will give you science and additional mathematics suppose they are very good in science but their maths is not very strong then we can offer them about the subset so we will offer them the sub science stream Okay, if still if the science and maths is uh, not very strong, then we will offer them the business stream. So business stream will be offered to those students. So this is how we are streaming. But if the student may be strong in, as I said, strong in science and mathematics, but still they want to choose 
their business subject so they can directly they can choose so there is no uh, we don't look into their marks because even if their science and maths is very strong but they still don't want to choose business we are welcome that we can give them the business stream so this is how we are streaming the students so uh, the first one now they are here in secondary to express we are going to release a letter a streaming letter and in that streaming letter you will have all the combinations the streaming different three types of streaming you can talk to your child and then you can decide on it uh, what stream they want to choose then you send us the response slip so use the response slip and the result in the final year examination the result so based on this, we will stream the students. So if the max and science is strong, then they can choose science and AMAP. Or if the science is strong, but the max is not uh, very strong, very good, the scores are not good, then they can, we will allow them to go to sub-science. If the science and max, they did not do much well, then we will give them the business stream. So this is the uh, pathway or this is the structure that we are going to uh, select the students in secondary three. Right. So this one is all about the additional mathematics. You may ask me the question, well, what is the difference between mathematics, e-mathematics and additional mathematics? So the uh, mathematics, the general mathematics is what they are learning in secondary one and secondary two, which is a continuation in secondary three and secondary four. So that is the e-mathematics. The additional mathematics is, uh, as, as the name you can say that additional, so it is more, more in depth, more topics. So the topics, they involve uh, calculus, which is a differentiation, integration, logarithm, and all this will be at these are the topics they are going to learn. So this will help them in their college mathematics. So when they go to the university, it's a very strong foundation for their college mathematics. But it's, it's more uh, challenging also in secondary level. So students, if they are really very good in mathematics, they can choose and they are able to do it. And also you have to buy an additional textbook for this one, additional uh, textbook for additional mathematics. So next year, uh, this is our plan. Uh, we have uh, three express classes. So we are planning to open three uh, classes, one class for additional mathematics and one class for the sub-science and one class for the business stream. So there are uh, three uh, classes we are planning to open for the next academic year. So our decision for choosing of the stream, we will get the response slip uh, by next month from, from the parents. After this, we will release, then we will uh, give the date, deadline for you to submit the response slip. So that will be there, but the decision for the streaming will be done at the end of this academic year. We have a exam final year examination. After the final year examination, we will distribute the report card. So the last day of the uh, school is 14th of June, 2024. So on this day, when you come to school to collect your report card, uh, during that time, we will also release the streaming uh, group for your child. In the, in the report card, you can see which group they are going to go in, in secondary three. So that is the deadline for us. That's the date that you, you may know about your child stream. So this one, as I said, the streaming, all of this will happen provided that your child is promoted to secondary. So it is based on 
uh, secondary two results. Okay, so if your child is promoted uh, to secondary three, so based on that result, only all this thing will happen. So this is our uh, streaming procedure. All right. So if you have any questions, yeah, you may answer. Uh, you may ask me. Then we will answer. Maybe. If you want to ask in Bahasa, you can also ask Mr. Samuel and Mr. Christian can um, reply for your questions. And also Mr. Samuel will just um, compile all whatever the slides that I have shared. We'll just give a deep briefing in Bahasa Indonesia for a short period of time. Uh, if you have any questions, you can post it in the chat or maybe you can also unmute and ask. So maybe I ask Mr. Samuel to just Brief it in Bas Indonesia. Thank you, Mr. Rufus. Ya, yeah. saya akan uh, sedikit mengulang ya, memberikan summary dalam bahasa Indonesia dan juga kebetulan ada beberapa yang baru join ya. Oke. Okay. Di di uh, sesi hari ini adalah untuk menerangkan tentang proses. Uh, ada dua hal ya. Yang pertama tentang streaming yang ada di secondary tree dan juga yang kedua adalah prosesnya seperti apa ya. Jadi di bagian di bagian ini terlihat bahwa ketika murid-murid mereka naik kelas ke secondary tree dari secondary 2 ada streaming ya atau penjurusan. Di Bina Bangsa kita ada tiga penjurusan. Yang pertama, jurusan pertama adalah science, full science dengan additional mathematics, kemudian subscience dan business ya. Apa perbedaannya? Per semua pelajaran, semua program sama ya. Yang membedakan adalah untuk streaming science emet mereka akan belajar tiga mata pelajaran science secara terpisah. Sekarang di sec 1, sec 2 mereka belajar general science ya, satu pelajaran science saja. Nanti di sektri mereka akan belajar tiga mata pelajaran sains atau tiga mata pelajaran IPA secara terpisah yaitu fisika, kimia, biologi. Ya. Dan um, untuk matematikanya ada dua, mathematics dan additional mathematics. Jadi additional mathematics ini adalah pelajaran yang terpisah, ada textbooknya sendiri, ya. Kemudian dia lebih advance dari mathematics. Mereka akan belajar turunan integral. Ketika kita sekolah di kurikulum nasional, kita belajar turunan integral itu di SMA. Sedangkan anak-anak yang ambil additional mathematics, mereka akan belajar turunan integral ini di secondary three di SMP 3. Ya. Um, untuk pelajar yang lainnya itu sama persis. Dan total ada 10 mata pelajaran yang satu 10 mata pelajaran akademik yang diwajibkan untuk anak-anak mengikuti ujian AJCSI-nya. Kemudian yang kedua adalah subscience. Di subscience ini anak-anak bisa tetap mengikuti tiga mata pelajaran IPA secara terpisah yaitu fisika, kimia, biologi, ya. Tetapi kalau misalkan ada anak Bapak Ibu yang tidak mau ambil semuanya IPA Nah, boleh biologinya diganti all, diganti dengan business studies ya. Apa itu business studies? Mereka akan belajar sebagai entrepreneur, bagaimana mereka mereka akan belajar marketing, mereka akan belajar um, employment, kemudian um, bagaimana mereka mendesain produk dan lain sebagainya ya. Um, untuk matematik hanya ada matematik, jadi tidak ada additional mathematics here. Dan jurusan yang ketiga adalah bisnis. Jadi di bisnis ini sama sekali tidak ada pelajaran sainsnya atau tidak ada pelajaran IPA-nya. Nah, tetapi ada pelajaran accounting business studies. Atau akuntansi dan bisnis. ya. Untuk akuntansi dan business studies ini adalah mata pelajaran baru yang mereka pelajari. Oleh karena itulah di jurusan ini tidak ada prerequisite knowledge atau tidak ada Um, apa tidak ada syaratnya ya karena mata pelajaran akuntansi dan bisnis tadi baru sedangkan untuk 
uh, pelajaran sub untuk jurusan sub science karena mereka akan belajar IPA tentu nanti kita akan lihat nilai IPA-nya. Untuk pelajaran science plus additional mathematics tentu kita akan melihat IPA dan matematikanya seperti itu. Boleh lanjut? Oke, okay, boleh lanjut. Ya. Yeah. Jadi mengapa prosesnya seperti ini ya? Pertama untuk bisnis itu semuanya kita welcome karena memang tidak ada prerequisite prerequisite subjek yang di, yang diperlukan. Untuk masuk sub science kita melihat nilai sainsnya, untuk sains emet kita melihat sains dan emetnya ya. Jadi kita tidak melihat nilai rata-rata keseluruh keseluruhan pelajaran. Kita hanya melihat nilai subjek tertentu saja. Seperti itu. Kita memandang bahwa semua sub, semua jurusan itu adalah baik. ya Baik sains emet, sub science, maupun bisnis itu semuanya baik. Tetapi anak-anak tentu saja di mana yang harus memilih mana jurusan yang terbaik untuk mereka. ya Berdasarkan minat dan juga kemampuan mereka. Mungkin itu saja tambahan dari saya. Boleh saya serahkan kembali kepada Mr. Christian ya. Okay. Thank you Mr. Samuel and Mr. Refus for the explanation. So uh, that's all the explanation uh, that we share with you parents. But before for the question and answer, I would like to remind you, you may chat your chat box Our admin share the Google form for the attendance, ya. Yeah. Jadi bapak ibu bisa cek di chat box uh, admin kita membuka untuk uh, formulir kehadiran. Harap dia segera diisi ya bapak ibu. Jadi kita bisa tahu uh, dari attendance ini. Baik, uh, if you have any questions, you can share with us. You can ask us first. You can use the chat. You can type any questions that you want to ask related with the streaming in Sec3. Or maybe if you want to have the direct question, you can raise hand. Later, our admin will uh, unmute uh, the speaker and then uh, we'll give you to unmute the speaker. Anyone? Bapak, Ibu, kalau ingin bertanya boleh di ruang chat atau question answer. Atau sebaliknya Bapak Ibu kalau ingin bertanya secara langsung bisa angkat tangan. Bisa segera menonaktifkan uh, mikrofon ya. Karena kami sudah memberikan memberikan mode untuk Bapak Ibu bisa menonaktifkan mikrofonnya begitu. Ada Bapak Ibu silakan. Berkenaan dengan streaming yang akan nanti anak-anak Bapak Ibu pilih untuk masuk ke secondary tree. Ya. Sudah ada satu pertanyaan, saya akan coba jawab ya, Pak Yustin, ya. dari Q&A. Ya. Ya, pertanyaannya, untuk sub-science atau science emet, apakah harus ambil tiga subjek science atau boleh satu atau dua science? Ya. Mungkin boleh ditampilkan kembali list subjek untuk uh, sub-science. Ya. ya, oke. Ya. Jadi di sini ini merupakan mata-mata uh, mata pelajaran yang ada di kelas sub science. Untuk science-nya itu ada dua yang wajib yaitu fisika dan kimia, fisik dan chemistry ini wajib. Ya. Kemudian yang ketiga biologi ini itu pilihan. Jadi bisa memilih biologi atau business studies. Jadi di kelas sub science bisa mem memilih tiga mata pelajaran IPA atau dua mata pelajaran IPA yaitu fisika kimia dan untuk dan business studies. Seperti itu ya. Saya harap cukup jelas. And there is another questions ya. Yeah. Send to send by direct message to me. What is the minimum passing grades for additional mathematics? Okay, I think that's a good question. There is no um, minimum passing grade. Yeah, why? Because every year the passing grade is different. It depends on 
the student interest and also the ability for that cohort. Uh, but to be safe, yeah, um, you can tell your 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 child to get at least eighty, okay, for mathematics and science. If you want to be in a math class, if you want to be in sub science class, then the science should be above F, above eighty, yeah. So that is to be safe. Um, I, I can guarantee if it is above eighty, then they will they we will assign them in these classes. But yeah, sometimes we take lower than eighty as well. Sometimes can be seventy five. Yeah, maybe seventy four. It depend on the cohort. I hope that answer the questions. Okay, satu pertanyaan lagi, Mr. Samuel, di question and answer. Apakah ditampilkan sub science a math subject apa saja? Ini ya Bapak Ibu ya, kita sudah tampilkan sub science sub science a math ya. Ini sub science yang sedang ditampilkan dan ini adalah subjek a math. Tambahannya hanya di additional math ya. Di additional math untuk a math. Oke. Okay. Kemudian the second question For the decision on the stream is based on the science and math result in the class during sec 2 such as a test, quiz, or other things. Is there any additional test to decide on the stream? Mr. Rufus or Mr. Samuel, you may answer. Yeah, uh, okay. It's purely based on the uh, test exam and quiz throughout the year, whatever they will study. The final result we will release on The final FA, you can see that in your report card. Uh, they have the final year examination mark and then final assessment mark. That is for the whole academic year, the performance in MOE or the topical test, quiz and everything. So that is the final. So based on that, uh, we will stream. Yeah. Basically, uh, we will focus more on the FOE paper, FOE exams. Okay. So basically, uh, there is no additional test, yeah, Mr. Yeah. Rufus, yeah. No, so basically, no only, only yeah. based on the test, quizzes, final year exams result. Okay, yeah. thank you. So any other questions from the parents? Wait. If you have questions. Mr. Samuel? I think. Yeah. Um, yeah. So just look to the report card in semester two and look to the FA, yeah, final assessment. Yeah, That's how we, we, we look at it, yeah. Uh, but definitely, you don't wait until until end of semester two, um, end of semester one. This December, we are going to release semester one report card. So you can use that also as indication. For example, your child getting 65 yeah, uh, um, for his or her mathematics and your child want to be in MN class. So definitely then your child need to um, study a little bit harder in semester two, something like that. There is also um, a direct chat, direct message to me. Yeah, If there is a moderated number of students, if more students enroll into one of the three classes. Okay. Yeah. I think the question is, if, for example, there are a lot of students who want to be in a math class, while, as Mr. Rufus has presented, our initial plan, is to open one MAT class, one sub science, and one business class. But what happened if a lot of students, they want to be in MAT class and they are good, yeah, based on the results, they are qualified. Yeah, or they got, a lot of students got, got 80, yeah, or maybe strong 70, 78 also. Um, I think definitely, definitely we will consider. Um, what we what will happen is what we did this academic year, Yeah, actually, this academic year also initially we plan to have um one M at one science M at class, one sub science, one business class, but um a lot of students they they apply to M at and the results is good. Uh, at the end, we open additional M at class. Yeah, so this academic year we have two science M at one sub science and one business. Yeah. So we try to um, accommodate the students' interest and ability. I hope that answered the questions. Okay, thank you, Mr. Samuel and Mr. Rufus. Okay, another questions. Uh, is it possible if we share this uh, PPT with the parents through WhatsApp group, through WhatsApp? Yep. 
ya weekend. Ya, thank you Mr. Rufus. Ya. Jadi nanti kita akan share melalui admin kita, Bapak Ibu. Jadi kalau Bapak Ibu yang ingin kembali melihat uh, presentasi dari kami, silakan meminta dari admin kita. Ya, terima kasih. Is there any other questions related with our topic today? Yeah. The next question, what if math score is more than 80, but science score is 65? Any other consideration to decide on the stream? Hmm. <clears throat> Mr. Samuel? <laughs> okay. Um... Yes, definitely we will consider this. Yeah. Um actually um sometimes we take the average of mathematics and uh, science. Yeah. So 80 plus 65, yeah, I think should be should be uh it, again depend also on the cohort. Yeah. If a lot of the students actually they're getting, for example, 80 and for mathematics and science is um 85. Yeah, so maybe a little bit difficult, okay. But maybe if the cohort at that time getting uh not many getting eighty five for the science, yeah, the science score is a bit low for that cohort. So maybe we will lower down a bit the the threshold. Yeah, so there is a possibility. I think eighty plus sixty five, the average for mathematics and science is about seventy something. There is still a possibility. Yeah, that we accept the students in science and math. Yeah. But if the student has no interest to be in math, just only to be in sub science, and the science is 60, 65, yeah, that is uh, a bit weak. Yeah, to be in science class. Okay, thank you, Mr. Samuel. Hope that answered the question. Any other questions, parents, if you want to ask? Any other questions? No? Uh, maybe one more thing that I want to share before we end this, meet, this meeting. Um, so after this, we are going to share letter to parents yeah, asking you what streamings you want to choose for your child. And at the same time, also on the letter, we will um, insert the link to this video yeah and also to the ppt so you can have access to the video you can share it also to other parents yeah, i think uh, some parents are not here so and i believe this is important uh, information for them yeah yeah again parents uh reminder please uh fill in the attendance form for today's uh session yeah and then if you want to have the PPT, the presentation that we shared, please uh, ask from our admin. Later, our admin will share with you. Okay. So again, any other questions related with our topic today regarding the sectary streaming from the parents? Okay. I think no more questions, Mr. Samuel. Thank you again, parents, for joining these info sessions. And I hope this helped you to decide the streaming for your child and help them to motivate and guide them in their studies. Thank you and have a good day. Bye. Thank you very much Thank you. for your time. Bye-bye. Have a good day. Thank you. Thank you.